Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the key news, stories and data points that move container markets and hence the new business. After a two week break, uh, sort of we are back here um, all fresh and live from, from Hamburg. Let me quickly share my screen to uh, give you a little bit more guidance of what I'm talking about. Today is Monday, so that means it's macro Monday here at Exchange. We typically talk about the macroeconomic indicators that will be moving uh, the markets this week. Uh, today, however, uh, we start off, of course, uh, with a quick recap of the developing situation in the Red Sea. Um, this has been uh, uh, escalating uh, quite significantly over the last uh, two weeks or so, um, where uh, Houthi rebels have started to attack uh, yeah, commercial uh, vessels um, by the big ocean liners. Uh, we've seen an attack on the Maersk vessel, an attack on a, on a Hapagloid vessel that actually also uh, uh, caught fire. Um, in uh, the the street in the in the Red Sea, um, and now uh, the big container lines are essentially instructing their vessels to avoid going through the Suez Canal and around uh, the Cape of uh, Good Hope, um, uh, adding uh, quite a significant uh, um, delay or time and journey impact uh, to their um, east-west uh, trades. Now we've been talking about the potential impact on the Suez Canal since about mid-October, so right after the start of the. Israel, um, uh, Hamas, uh, Palestina uh, war, um, and now uh, this is really happening. Um, shares of shipping lines have jumped in anticipation of a post-COVID uh, uh, sort of disruption revival. Um, but of course, um, we're not uh, that uh, pessimistic. Uh, it will all depend on how quickly the world's navies take this up. And also Egypt, of course, has a significant commercial interest um, in uh, an ongoing function of the Suez Canal. It's one of the main revenue drivers. Um, and if that uh, sort of stops uh, stops being uh, being used, uh, then of course that has a has an impact there. Um, if you uh, monitor uh, ship traffic uh, through uh, the Red Sea and into the Suez Canal, of course that still looks very very healthy, uh, but uh, that can uh, turn uh, right quite quickly. Um, if, uh, if you remember the situation with the Ever Given um, a few years ago, uh, that was also uh, yeah, quite a quite a traffic jump that we've seen there. Now, uh, that's, that's that. Uh, all eyes remain on that. Um, it will be interesting to see how that situation develops going forward. Um, on Tuesday, then, um, we have uh, your area inflation rate uh, data come in for November um, and further cooling down uh, to 2.4% versus 29 in the previous month. So that's now almost in line with the roughly 2% uh, corridor or, or target, target rate that the ECB um, is aiming at. Um, so really there, um, cooling of the economy, but also the monetary policy have worked. And then uh, Thursday, Friday, some data from the US. Uh, of course, uh, we remain um, very observant of uh, the situation there because it's still up uh, for a decision whether the US economy will have a hard landing or a soft landing, so a recession or a soft landing out of uh, out of the current um, sort of situation. Um, and Thursday, um, joblessness data, jobless claims uh, for the week, for the last week are, are coming in. Uh, consensus is an increase to uh, roughly 280,000 um, up from about 202,000 at the week prior. So that rate is now uh, relatively stable, uh, somewhere around 200 to 220,000 uh, initial job business claims per week. And then on Friday, a uh, good orders. Uh, so that's a leading indicator, um, of course, also for uh, shipping capacity um, demand, um, especially from uh, Europe to the US, uh, as well as from Asia to the US, expected to increase just 2% month on month. It's a very volatile reading here, a very volatile metric, uh, because the uh, October um, saw a significant uh, sort of uh, abysmal month, um, with a minus 5.4% uh, uh, negative growth um, or contraction. Cool. So that's it from me, from us for today. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, see you all on Wednesday and have a fantastic start of the week. Take care.